I, so I didn't doubt that I was going to lose one. I just... I didn't want to lose one like that, man. That's just... Whoa! Where are we? Where... Where... Are we? Oh! It's not always clear when and why and how we're going to come out on another in another area. I wish it was a little bit clear. I guess it doesn't. It may, doesn't make sense for it to be clear. And what's more, we came out to a pleasant surprise. This is my favorite. Is this my favorite? I think this is my favorite enemy in um in the Pikmin franchise. This is the Mamuta. He can't hurt Pikmin. And I feel kind of bad for killing him. He cannot hurt Pikmin at all. All he does is stick them in the ground. And in fact, in previous Pik Pikmin games, I'm not sure about this one, uh, he even flowered them. In Pikmin 1, he would flower them when he put them in the ground. So he's quite, he's just a pacifist. He doesn't mean any harm whatsoever. Just wants to enjoy nature. And he are they're almost always accompanied by um, by spectra lids. Oh! <laughs> it's, uh, it's the Pikmin 3 theme. Great touch. You know what? Honestly, the ends more than justified the means. That was, that was very pleasant. It had no right to be as pleasant as it was, considering we we lost our first Pikmin. And we're only we're only like forty percent of the way through the game th through the game through the day. Let's get, let's go this way. Let's go this way. I wanted to cross the water just because that area was interesting to me, and also there's uh, there were a lot of treasures that were just sitting there on the ground. But ultimately, I it's not proper. Dandori to go that way. Aww. Yeah, I know. Ochi can't climb. No. Ochi's useless. Go! Oh. He, so he kind of uses the treasure like a warning shot. That's, that's kind of funny. Oh. Fun. Okay. Uh, let's... Let's get this back. Let's cross this first, and then I guess we have a Dandori battle in store for our ourselves. That's that's cool. It's almost like a it's straight up like a freezer, like a refrigerator. Okay, let's talk to lock, talk to this man. Hey, hello. These leaflings, they really are all over the place, huh? Um, it is Dan Dory time. That, that's it? That's all you have to say? That isn't the pilot, Jeff. But they're still a castaway, Jeff. Go rescue him, Jeff. Just as soon as I have my fruit back. And maybe that's broken? Can that be broken? Can that please be broken soon? Come on, just a little bit more. And then maybe we... I don't know if I should explore... I won't explore that yet. In fact, let's do this. There is a... There's a... A hill that I could... I could dig up. So let's... Send them on that. Grab some raw materials. Get the, these raw materials back. And as soon as all of that is done, then we will... Then we will do a Dendori battle. As it hits noon. I actually have... Oh, it's a bomb rock. That's kind of disappointing. All right. It's all back. Everything's accounted for. Let's go inside. Dandori level two. Here we test Dandori. I love Dandori. You love Dandori? Again, that's it. That's all we get. 
plus side is I have a super Ochi now. Uh, you guys start on that. I wish that Ochi could pluck. That would have been a good upgrade for me to have gotten, but... Uh, I think I value... I think I value him being able to carry 20 more than that. You guys do that. Sure, Ochi, you can do that. I'm gonna worry about the enemies... I'm gonna be worrying about the enemies later. For now, I want... I want this gold done. I want this broken. Then we can continue on while the gold is happening. Maybe I should have broken it first. But there's really only one way to... Oh, I guess there are two ways to go right now. Okay, Ochi, you do that. And, in fact, this will work out because then Ochi will be back at base. And they're automatically doing that. Good. Um, you're done with that. I could probably kill you with just the five. I'm not going to risk it, though. Because then I would be left with nothing to do. That. That. Ochi! Hey, buddy! Uh, go... You go kill that. That should be enough. Yes, it is. Uh, you grab that. That only caught, that only weighs seven? That's kind of nuts. Um, let's see if I can whistle these guys from here. Yes, perfect! I'm not. Chill. You don't need to be giving me advice, question mark man. Vegan? You filthy vegan? Uh... Yeah, let's... This is a good time saver. At least it will be. We have five minutes left. It... Things will start getting knocked down real quick once... Once this area is opened up. And then I think we'll kill... We'll kill them. Cool. Uh, kill you. Start plucking. Kill you. Start plucking. He might hop back up. Well, he almost did. And again, it doesn't really matter if I lose Pikmin. Not only have I already lost Pikmin, but it is a Dandori battle. So it's... All bets are kind of off now. Yes, it is. I agree. And in fact, I agree so much. Ten. You do that. And actually, no, 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 dog, 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 dog. Go. Perfect. I'm not really caring about the beasties as much right now. Treasures first. Nice. Yeah, that's why, because I'm going to need them. You start on that. Uh, the dog will be back soon. I could probably take him with... Uh, you know what? Oh, I, I can't use that. Almost. And then I'll clean him up with uh, normal attacks. Perfect. Oh, this... Yeah, we're gonna swarm that. Get that going. And then switch over to Ochi. Who's almost back. We don't have that many yellows. That's, that's a little bit rough. Got them back. I should be able to take out the rest of that gate and then get the treasure therein. That is not what I wanted, and the game should have known that. Okay. I don't know why that happened like that, but I think we're fine. Uh, enter. Okay. Then... You guys attack that. Switch over to Ochi. Perfect. It was just a button, so we don't need to worry about carrying anything. Now Ochi can access anything. Uh, this has opened up a lot of stuff. That's... That's really good. The Pikmin are going to be pretty fast now. And... Oh, yes. Okay, while this is being plucked, switch over to Ochi. And we're going to... Come on. You do that. Ochi, you pick up this. Switch back to, to Jeff. Bing. Come on, throw him, throw him. Yeah, good, good, good. Start digging. 
start digging. Oh, I think we, we have everything accounted for. We're looking really good now. You guys get on that, make it go a little bit faster. And then we're gonna start cleaning up enemies, which is the a lower priority. Yeah, we, we passed, good. From here on out, all all bonus stuff. Um, yeah, we're gonna jump up here. And that was now 10. There's 10. Grab them. And I need to put Ochi to work too. Oh yeah, the treasure, the treasure, the treasure! Uh, I don't think we have enough for the treasure. Uh, okay. We do not, so... We're gonna leave the yellows here, and then we're going to... Put two there. Um... Two, and then... You pick up, you pick that up. Ochi, you are an actual idiot. Transport. Thank you. A minute left. A minute left and one treasure. We got our yellows. Uh, I'll gather the rest of them, and then we're gonna head out that way. That's not worth it. And we should be able to get this. Come on, come on. I know exactly where to go. I have the right Pikmin equipped. It's just a case. Come on. I want this to go super fast. Come on. No, go, go. What are you doing? Make it go as fast as you possibly can. Can make it. They're gonna get on that. It's definitely gonna make it back. Um. And we're gonna get, we're gonna get gold. We're gonna get gold, come on. Yes! Yeah! That's what I deserve. Gold rank on a, I mean, two-star Dandori battle. It's only just beginning. But, come on. The first Dandori battle didn't go that well. This, this is a gold. That's a dub. Platinum is perfect. So, we just barely on our first try didn't get a perfect. So incredible, I feel dizzy. Then, 30 pieces of raw material is your reward. Hello, hello. There was some incredible, those were some incredible Dendori skills. All right, let's get them out of here. <laughs> Jeff kind of looks intimidating. <laughs> like, imagine getting trounced, like, thoroughly walloped by that man. <laughs> With all that leaf growth, there's no way to tell who this is. But that doesn't matter. It's our job to rescue them. We don't want them finding their way back inside that cave and ag getting addicted to Dandori again. Let's keep the lid closed as a precaution. Uh, sure. And then, one, two, three. And now, it's, oh, pfft. We no time passed at all. We might be able to go into another cave. Wouldn't that be slick? I'd love to redeem myself. One Pikmin lost just powers me up to Kingdom Come. Is there a Snagret? Is this a Snagret? No? Just a thing to dig? Ha! Hello! <laughs> I am also here! <laughs> sure, let's go inside. <laughs> let's, let's do it. Let's dig this up first, but then let's go inside. Pachu! Maybe Russ will have more info more success getting their ID information. Also, ID information, is that not superfluous? Huh? Does that mean that when someone becomes a leaf ring, their biometric authentication data becomes unreadable? Have you not been paying attention, dude? If even science is unable to solve this problem, then I'm afraid I'm at a loss. I mean, why don't you just, like, strip the leaves away? Why do you always... Oh, I... I should stop mourning bomb rocks. I, this is not Pikmin... This is not Pikmin 1. It's not Pikmin 2. Bomb rocks are a resource. I should be happy about it. Oh. Well, if... If I didn't lose my Pikmin in the... the sunken Hollow or whatever it was called, I would lose them here. 
Many types of bull blacks have settled in this cave. Perhaps they're building their empire. To them, I'm just a foreign invader that must be eradicated. If the danger becomes unavoidable, I'll need to rely on some of the items I brought with me. Oh boy! We're going. All reds? I like the sound of that. Combat cave! Let's go! Also, I could have taken more, but I don't have more? The Kingdom of Beasts. I'm not going to hold out for the music, but the Bull Black's Kingdom has my favorite music of any cave in Pikmin 2. And this probably won't be like that, so I'm not going to... I'm not going to get my hopes up. Uh, no, 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 no. Ochi, 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 Ochi. There. I need to start. I need to practice my... Every, every opportunity is a time to practice my Dandori. Every moment. And that's a lesson for life. Dandori skills transcend a game. I mean, Dandori is not something invented for this game. It's a word in Japan for describing exactly what it means here. So, it, it, there's always a way you can practice. I don't think I've talked to... Uh, to actually, I definitely haven't. Um, I haven't talked about my job in... It's a little bit awkward. Um, we'll keep going onward. Okay, that's the way we go further, so I don't really care. Um, I currently uh, work for UPS. That is my actual job. And I am a dispatcher, so I every route in the county I, I work in, I, I design. And so... There's this constant, uh, this constant, like, optimization of, hey, this is, like, saving miles, saving, um, like, volume in, in the car, in the package car. Is that an egg? Yeah, okay. And, and just optimizing everything to make things take as little time as possible. And, <coughs> so... That's, I mean, that's really just Dandori. And that's something that you can always practice. Like, oh, I'm doing grocery shopping. Uh, how do I, you know, how do I do that grocery shopping in, in a way that facilitates me not, you know, backtracking a whole lot? And it's, it's a skill. It's definitely a skill. Also, I almost feel like it was, I was a little bit punished for going this direction. There is really no reason for me to go this direction. Everything ended up taking longer as is, because I didn't have my dog. That's interesting. You guys carry that. Am I really waiting for that? I guess I am. Or it could be cooking. How do I how do I make the best use of this cutting board? <gasps> Without having to wash it. So, I talked about, we're seeing some of my favorite enemies, and we're seeing my least favorite in the same episode. Oh, that did so much damage. That's insane. Ah! Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Don't get in harm's way, don't get in harm's way. Throw, kill the mitites, come on. Man, they stick out around a lot longer in this game. They're like a legit hazard. Here we go. Rock Pikmin! <laughs> I love the design of these little guys. These are, the of the two Pikmin, new Pikmin type they added in Pikmin 3, these are the most at home in my opinion. Hmm, could these be Pikmin 2? There's no way these were mentioned in the voyage log. The Rock Pikmin. Ah, the hard, rocky rock Pikmin. They break crystal walls with their stout bodies and tough headbutts, survive being stepped on, and can't be pierced by needles. Despite their sturdy sturdiness, they can still be crushed on hard surfaces or by some creature's teeth. So they're hard as rocks, huh? Now that I really look at them, I can see how you could easily mistake this Pikmin for a basic stone. They're literally just a rock with googly eyes taped on, which is really endearing. And they look really cute in the portrait. Rock Pikmin. These little guys are immune to a hazard that we that no one really registered as a hazard until 
we got them. Crushing. The, and, and it kind of makes crushing its own element. It was it was such a natural addition to the, the Pikmin franchise. I love Rock Pikmin so much, which is a lot more than I can say for a certain other kind of Pikmin that was added in Pikmin 3. And we're going to be facing them later. They're great. Uh, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, my least favorite enemy. Uh, right there, Orange Bulborbs is, is definitely up there. They're not... They're not fun to deal with. Um, I always do that. Go do it, Ochi. You're, this is definitely worth your time. Orange Bulborbs can be... Uh, they, they will wake up as soon as I'm close to them, so... Honestly, it... I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna dash this one. Yeah, that's that's the way to do it. You have to blitz them as fast as you possibly can. If you give them a moment to breathe, they will kill Pikmin. They they're extremely aggressive. Um, they don't. I feel like they never they don't bumble as much as that's interesting. They, if I'd taken blues in here, I could have avoided that. And all around, they're just kind of gnarly. They're not as gnarly as another kind of enemy, another kind of bulborb in this that will be in this cave. As as we know. Oh my word. I almost missed that. That's insane. That's crazy. Also, that's really bad Dandori. Whoops, I guess I'm, at least I'm gonna get some right here. Okay, you die. Another thing with rocks is they don't deal as much uh, impact damage and as much bludgeoning damage when they are, um, when they are left to their own devices as when they are thrown. So sometimes it behooves you to throw them, whistle them, and throw them again. A little bit weird. There's some minutia with this Pikmin. But all in all, they are, they're fantastic. I, I love these little guys. Okay, what am I missing here? Can... I guess I could have swam, so there's, there's that too. What? What am I, am I missing? Hold the phone. Oh. This is a cave we'll have to come back to. Or, n wait, we're not? Wait a minute. We're not gonna have to come back to this cave? Doesn't that just invalidate a certain thing we're gonna see later? Why? Wait. How did they know that was there? I'm extremely confused by that. That's not what red Pikmin are supposed to do. Okay, I'm... I hope that they redeem that, because if not, there's a mechanic that we will be encountering later on that... Also, it looks like they missed. Am I crazy? Did they miss? Guys, <laughs> that wasn't in range. <laughs> Goons? Okay, well, we got a artichoke heart or whatever. Let's go deeper. 